Hey cute people! This video is a collaboration with naturalcurly.com. Not long ago I did a video where I was trying to achieve my best wash and go on my type coils. So I was asked by naturalcurly.com to share some tips with you guys. I have quite a few, but there are some that I find to be very, very important. So I'll share those with you guys and hopefully this will help somebody. I know a lot of coily, tight coily naturals don't style their hair and washing goes, and I definitely can understand that. Prior to doing the last washing go I did, I hadn't done that style in like almost over a year maybe. When I first became natural, I did wear wash and goes quite a few times because my hair was shorter and I didn't have to work too hard. But the reason I say that is because when your hair is tightly coiled, you know, you get a lot of tangles, which leads me to my first tip. You have to make sure your hair is thoroughly detangled before you begin putting any gel in your hair. Because you know once you put the gel in your hair, it sets your hair. So if you have tangles in your hair, can you imagine what that would be like when you are washing your hair and you have tangles with the gel? That's not good. That is going to be a mess. So before you put any gel in your tight coils, make sure that your hair is thoroughly detangled. The second tip that I can share with you guys, for me, the last time I did a wash and go, I didn't want to keep the gel in my hair too long because you know, tight coils, dry hair, tangles, so forth. So I just wanted to keep the um, style maybe three or four days max for me because I didn't want to set any tangles I already had with tangles that I may be getting because you know when your hair is tightly coiled, tangles is the enemy. Detangling is your friend. But I don't want the gel to be in my hair because even though some gels may not be very drying, I they are somewhat drying. And if you had tight coil have tight coils, you don't need to add anything in your hair that's gonna give you any more dryness than what you need because dryness will cause breakage. Now, the third tip, when I did my hair the last time, I didn't use any type of tool. And I know using tools will help you define your curls a little bit more, you may think, but that's not necessarily true. As long as your hair is, I'd say, dripping wet, which is another tip, make sure your hair is dripping wet, detangle. When you put the gel in your hair, trust me, your coils will look cute and they will be a popping. So just make sure that if your hair is detangled, using your fingers to manipulate or shingle, I should say, um, will be no problem at all. And your curls will look cute. Now, if you want to use a comb or dim and you can, but me, myself, I choose not to because I find it pulls out my hair. And, um, you know, the hair tightly coiling up like it does, it's just so easy to snag and pull, so I'd rather not do that. But then, I like to also say, I like to try the wash and go, which I think is better anyway, on freshly washed hair. That's a tip I'll definitely share. And I think most people will do a wash and go on wet hair because then your hair can be sopping wet to give you the look that you want. But underneath all that gel, you got to prepare your hair to keep that moisture in, to lock it in. So, of course, you, you should use, for tightly cold hair, you should use a very nice creamy leave-in. Something really nice and thick, whichever may be your favorite. And an oil. Um, a great oil, I have to say, castor oil would be great. The wash and go that I did, I used grapeseed oil, which is also a great oil to use also. Whatever moisturizer you're going to use on top, so pretty much you're doing the LOC method. Your leave-in, your oil, and your cream moisturizer. You should put that in your hair before you put the gel in your hair. Because then you're locking whatever moisture um, you have in your hair before you put the gel on. Now, when you do that, Depending on what gel you use, your hair may be crunchy, 
then it can't be not. Me, myself, I don't care um, that my hair is crunchy because it really doesn't last that long. It's not like the crunchiness. If you have your hair in a um, wash and go style for 10 days, your hair is going to be crunchy for 10 days. You'll notice probably on day two, it'll start softening up. And I find that happens a lot when I, um, I'm in the shower. My hair will start softening up. And the curls will retain themselves. But you have to do that before you put that gel in your hair. Most definitely. Whatever products you use for your LOC, make sure you do that. The other tip that I want to um, mention to you guys is that while your hair is in the wash and go style, you have to make sure you moisturize your coils. You, you have to make sure that you moisturize your coils. And then, again, you would do it the same way with the LOC method. Unfortunately, because your hair is coiled up, you may not be able to get your strands, like, well, moisturize or get the product all over your strands like you would want, but you should do it very much often. That's why I said for me, I don't want the um, gel in my hair for more than four days. Because if I'm not effectively getting the product in my hair to moisturize after I um, use the gel, then I don't want to keep the gel in my hair longer than I have to. And then, of course, I have excessive breaking when I um, take the, you know, wash the gel out of my hair. And if you know one thing about gel, if you style your hair with gel, um, even if your hair is permed or transitioning, with the gel, and I don't care what anybody says, you can dispute me if you like, you're going to have some breakage. That's why I wouldn't leave the gel in my hair more than four days because after the fourth day, I want to, you know, be able to replenish whatever lost moisture I had back into my hair. And I feel I can effectively do that without the gel. But because you have gel in your hair does not mean you cannot moisturize your hair or that you should not moisturize your hair. You gotta moisturize your hair even though you have the gel in your hair. But like I said, there's a lot of tips I can share with you guys, but those are the ones I feel are the most important. Detangle your hair for sure. Make sure you moisturize. Don't leave the gel in too long. And definitely watch the tools that you use because the tools can cause further damage to your hair. And make sure that you tie your hair up at night in a satin scarf, silk scarf, so that you can again keep that moisture in your hair. So those are the tips that I just wanted to share with you guys. Like I said, there's so many more, but those are the ones I find to be very important. Hopefully I help someone and I thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thank you naturalcurly.com and I want you all to share and spread love.